All the project files and code for this video will be in the description in GitHub and pasting files. All right, hi. So I've got a prefab here for the teleporter and I've got this scene. All of them will be in GitHub in the description. So check that out for the full project. And now what you need to do is place the teleporter in a good position. And I like that. Make sure it has a box collider with a trigger and make another 3D object cube and place it near the teleporter. So like uh, here, like there, yep. And remove the mesh renderer and make it just a trigger. So you don't collide into it or something. Like that, there we go. Uh, there we go. That's good. And now copy this and create an empty and put uh, just tele near teleporter or somewhere like that. Just for organization, you, know, have, you don't have to do this step, but if you want to be organized, then I guess you can do it. And now I've got another thing up here and move another teleporter onto here. And one of those near teleporters move it up here too. So like that one, like that, there we go. And move it near this one. Down like that. And like that, there we go, perfect. And now we have to actually have to do the code. So like, um, player, let's add teleporter, new script, create an add. And did now this teleporter script. Uh, open up Visual Studio. This is my computer's quite so because I forgot to clean stuff. So now here we go. So now we'll do public, public uh, game object. Uh, actually, no, never mind. Just do void on uh, trigger enter and collider. Let's just call that collision instead. Uh, collision, yeah, there we go. And if a uh, collision dot game object dot compare tag, and then uh, the tag, let's call it uh, teleporter, like that. Then let's make a reference to the player up here. Public game object player. Uh, just player and public game object let's call it the uh, teleporter teleport to and now if collision with the compare tag teleporter um, then player dot transform dot position equals teleport to no, not teleporter, teleport to dot transform dot position. And now you should have that. And now uh, click here, go to your player or wh wherever you put, you put the script on. And the player, drag the player into here and teleport to, that's this one. So drag this into here. And now, of course, you, this one add a tag. So I tag, add tag, then a teleporter, like that, add the teleport tag. And I'll put, give this the, actually it's this teleporter. Uh, so this is the teleporter tag, give that the teleporter tag. And now when you walk through this, then you get teleported to up here. As you can see, you get teleported up here. So now, if you want to go back, then it doesn't really work. So now we're going to fix that. You can end the video here if you if this is all you wanted. But if you want to actually go back, then you have to do if collision dot game object dot compare tag, and let's call it second second tele teleporter. And uh, then uh, make another reference called public game object uh, start teleporter. And now do the same thing as last time player.transform.position equals uh, start teleporter. 
start te uh, teleporter dot transform dot position. There we go. Um, now save and give this an uh, reference to start teleport, which is this one. And now give this one the second teleporter tag, which we're going to add now. Second teleporter, like that. And now give it this the tag of the second teleporter. And now if you go to this one, then you can be teleported up here. And this one you'll be teleported down here. Now that's basically the end. So. Thanks for watching. All of the project files for this file will be in the description below, and the code will be in a git and will be in a paste bin link. So I'll do more tutorials like this. Uh, go to this playlist on screen if you want to see more tutorials. And with that, and with that, bye.